Season 1, Chapter 2 Emilia Romagna Grand Prix Malachi Wilson had a poor qualifying at Imola, but is more determined than ever to make up the places. Results have expectedly gone downhill since the double podium in Bahrain, but there is a good chance that the Brit can still get points from here, especially with Imola being notorious for causing chaos. Chaos starting to die down a little bit here as we move further into this second lap, and around goes the McLaren of Antonio Giovinazzi. He spins up in front of the pack, and there's contact with both the Alpine cars. Daniel Ricciardo is hitting from behind, and the virtual safety car has been deployed just like that. Here go the two rebels now battling for the lead going into turn one. Here on lap six, Perez makes contact with Verstappen and around he goes. Perez spins up in front of the pack and Leclerc's going right for him. And there we go, there's contact. And Leclerc's run right into the back of Bottas. And that's the safety car deployed just like that. In comes Pierre Gasly now. It's all panic stations down in the pit lane for Alpha Tari. They've got penalty to serve first. And that could be crucial because Malachi Wilson is going to the pits behind him as well. Alpha Tari trying to double stack and it hasn't paid off for them. And there's a very slow pit stop on Gazi's cars. Wilson's just sitting there, the young Brit waiting for his teammate to get out of the pit box. In he comes now. In goes the 94 car going into the pits. And it's still very slow because they've got to get a jack back under the car. And guys change onto those hard tyres. And this is a huge setback for Malachi Wilson. And we ask, does he have enough to still take points from this bad, bad situation? See, so we are then behind the safety car on lap 8. It's been a bit of a crazy start for Malachi, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, like I say, quite crazy eight laps. So Giovinazzi spun on lap two, collected a multiple cars of so that person on the virtual safety car, got going from that, and then we had a crash safety with Charles Leclerc as well. So that brought, that brought up the actual lap. safety car. Let's make and sure Alpha Tower made the choice to try and double stack us, and it didn't pay off because Gazi had a penalty to serve. So that puts Napa just down all the back in P18, the last running car. I reckon we can still get points in here, easy money. So here, we, so we pulled away with. So the rest of the pack pulled away from us, so we have to close back up to them before we get going again. We're on hard tyres here, these should see us all the way through to the end of the race, everyone else should have to pit. But I reckon, yeah, I reckon we can definitely still get points in here. So we we'll come around the last two corners here to get going, for real this time, on the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. The objective is to finish the race in the top ten, I reckon we we'll okay, definitely do that. As green cleared. flag is back Let's out and we are back, back underway. Speed. Here's the start lap nine of this Grand Prix here at Malawi. Had a bit of a poor start compared to everyone else, so they've pulled away, something's never changed. I think it's going on this opening straight here. Latifi and Alonso, they're our first targets. They're battling in front of us, so we should be able to try and find our way around them quickly. They make contact there. The Alpine almost drives into the Canadian. There we go on the inside of the Spaniard going towards the left-hander. We have to back out here to allow Alonso room to stop some forcing both of us wide. We're going to try and go to the inside again here, going into the next turn. There we are now on the inside, but Fernando is still there. We've managed to get clear of him off the corner, but we've got a pretty poor exit. So we still managed to hold on to it regardless. So next target, Latifi on the next lap, lap 10. We're on the inside of him, similar to how we did with Fernando Alonso. And there we are on the inside, but he's still there on our right. So pushing towards up the hill and towards the next left-hander. We've still got the inside, and that should be us secure. There we are underneath, and that has a, ha, puts us up into P16. So a positive start to this race back up from going green under the safety car. We're now pushing towards the end of lap 11. We managed to find our own Ricardo after he's randomly set up. He may have damage. And here come a lot of the cars now into the pits, and that's going to push us up into the points for the first time today. So that's us up into P10. So not too bad at all. We've definitely made progress, but of course, the, these cars will most likely catch us later on in the race. So moving further on now towards the end of lap 12, Alonso's caught back up with us, and Verstappen sets the fastest lap of the race. We're quite way back from Ocon and Vettel up, up ahead in the distance. We're going to try and fend off Alonso here. I think he has the DRS coming off the corner of the gun. Back down the home straight. Yes, he does. There he goes to the left-hand side. We're going to force him wide a bit just to try and get force him to lose momentum. But he's still there on the left-hand side. And there he goes as we move up, move up to P9 now. Bottas pitted. So there we go. Try and make a move on Alonso. P8, but think better of it. We're going to try and duck back into line here. Alonso pulls away a bit, but that's, and that's us up into P9, but still down a place on track due to Alonso being ahead of us. So pushing on now to, to onto the start of lap 15. Alonso still up in front of us. Latifi's falling past him, but we got the DRS on him just about, so we're really closing on the gap now, the gap was 0.8 seconds when we first came down the straight, we're going to dive to the inside and try and go over this one, and that was a spectacular run down the home straight going into that first corner, very good charge there, and that's us up into P6, past Latifi, so not too bad at all, but he's going to come back at us on the, at the end yeah, of the lap, he's got Lando Norris for company as well, in the McLaren, the Brits are going to try and find his way through, and he gets past with relative ease, we're still holding off Latifi for the time being, we could try and make a move on Norris, we're, not, we're going to try it, but we're, no space, so we, so we bang wheels instead. Maybe done a bit of damage to the front wing, but I think we'll be okay for the time being. Nothing show up on the MFD, so I think we'll be alright. 
So I'm mean, still holding off Latifi regardless. So progress still nice and smooth. Moving on now to lap 18. We're up into third place. And here comes Valtteri Bottas on the charge. He's coming out. As you can see, we saw him pit a few laps ago. And he's now there on our outside. This is the black arrow right there behind us. We're going to make making move back into line. And into the left hand we go. We've gone a bit wide and off our line here. That could allow Bottas a better exit if he gets close enough. But I don't think he's going to be able to. He goes over there. He goes to the left hand side. Going in towards the next corner. I think he's going to try and make the move here. On the inside, we're going to force him to go way, way low in the corner, perhaps over the curb, and it will be alright here. We've gone way too deep in the corner ourselves, and there goes Bottas flying around the outside, and that puts, us, that puts him up, back up into the podium places. But it's not over for us. We've got Lewis Hamilton, his teammate for company, and we've got our teammate Pierre Gasly behind us as well. We're running side by side with Hamilton, and get very aggressive here and force Hamilton out, and that should allow us to hold on to P4 for just a little bit longer here. So we're going to press further on now to the start of lap number 20. So here comes Sainz on us as well. Hamilton found his way through. And here comes, so here comes Carlos Sainz but making his way past in the Ferrari. He's got a DRS. He's going to try and dive to the inside. Is there enough space? Yes, there is. We're going to just about make it. No contact, but Sainz starts the better. I'm going to try a switch back. I don't want to do anything. We're still right there running behind the Ferrari. I think, I think that's all we've really got for him. It'd be stupid to try and go for a move here. So we're going to break early. And that only allows him to really get away. So we're trying to go for the slow and fast out approach, but it didn't pay off. So pushing on now towards the start of lap number 23. Lance Schultz has made his way past us. And here comes Fernando Alonso now on the left hand side. Alonso, we're battling with him once again in this race. We're going to try and go for a move this time. Here we come into the corner. We're going to try and switch back, but it fails terribly. So Alonso still managed to stay ahead of us. So good job from him there. We're on lap 29 here. And here's his teammate Esteban Ocon with our teammate Gasly just behind him. Here we go now, going into the corner. I think Ocon may try out on the inside. Is, is there contact? He's made contact with Gasly. And around goes the Frenchman Esteban Ocon. The two compatriots coming together. Green flag for us now. And the safety car, though, has been deployed further on into the lap. And Sonoda's out of the session now. So, and as is Guan Yu Zhou, so there must be a crash between those two that also brought the safety car. But fortunately, it's good to know that kind of wasn't really our fault there. But yeah, safety car out. And with just three more laps to go in this thing, so. It's up to me and Gazi now to try and close okay, on the rest of the pack and see again. what we can the do before we can even catch the top six. When the safety car's already coming in, so we're going to try and close down them as much as we can. And luckily, as we go green again, we do manage to catch up to, to the top six, but we're still about a second behind. The DRS hasn't been deployed, so it may be us versus Gazi here. As the objective changes here on the left-hand side, our new objective is just to beat Pierre Gazi to finish. So it's looking more and more likely that we will take points come the end of this race. Gazi's on the inside, and the first proper corner on the lap, we're going to make contact with them and force him there just so we can stay in front of him just for the time being and we'll try and charge and chase Stroll who's currently battling Valtteri Bottas in front of him and those two have battled and lost momentum but we're now right behind Stroll we've banged wheels there so we're going to lose a bit of time ourselves we're we'll dive at the inside of Stroll see if we can do anything from there but he's, we're way down on the grass I guess he didn't really see us coming so we're still there on the, on the left hand side but Stroll gets past and now Gaz is going to have a go going into the left hand while we're trying to tackle Stroll we're going to uh, on the inside still holding on to the place Gasly loses it a bit and coming on now to the last couple of straights of the Grand Prix. Gaz is going to have a go at us here on the inside, going into the last chicane. We've gone over the curve a bit there, and that's an illegal overtake on Pierre Gasly. We're going to try and we're going to have to get that back. We don't want to give it back too much because if he, if he gets too much time, we're going to lose the position. So we're going to let Gasly pass briefly, then dive right back in on the inside. There's a bit of contact. We force out Gasly, and that is going to be all we need to do. Perez has won the race in front of us. We don't care. We're the junior team. We've come through to take P7, beating Gasly to the finish line and scoring points okay, amidst the chaos. Oh, I, 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 I need to lie down, what a race that was, that was incredible. Red Bull are the winners once again, it's Perez who takes victory after spinning so early on in the race with contact with Verstappen which led to Charles Leclerc's crash which brought out the initial safety car that put us in this mess. Perez has fought back to claim the victory, so it's a very good job from him. So he's top of the podium today, and it's Lando Norris in second, and it's Mike Carl Sainz in third place. So all around, a very exciting race there. There were a few boring patches, but we made we made the most of what we had in that race. So I really, really enjoyed this one. So there's your top ten then. Perez wins it from Norris and Sainz. And Alonso fourth, Bottas in fifth, Lance Stroll sixth, Malachi in seventh, Pierre Gasly in eighth, Lewis Hamilton comes home ninth against the fastest lap, and it's George Russell in tenth. So all in all, just a very exciting race. I hope we get a lot more of them over the course of this 2022 season. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to like the video. And without further ado, we'll have a look here at the Drivers' so Championship. So it's Sergio Perez who controls it now by 17 points over Hamilton with Verstappen just three back from him. McLaren fourth and Norris in fifth. We run ninth in the championship. Tied on points with Pierre Gasly 
We're going to have to do something about that in the next couple of races to make sure we stay on top. And now we're going to the Constructors' Championship with Red Bull, who are in the lead by a dominant 120 points. Mercedes in second on 85, Ferrari third on 72, and us on 52 in fourth place. So a very good start so far to the season. But guys, that's where we're going to end it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you what you thought of the video down in the comments below. And let me know what I can improve on. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. So with that, I shall see you next time. Goodbye. Despite the setback Malakar was put through under the safety car, he was still able to pull through and claim 7th place through the chaos, with teammate Gasly just behind. AlphaTauri are pleased with his performance as they run 4th in the race for the Constructors' Championship.